Welcome back. We're talking sports and we're talking Taekwondo. And here with me again is the president of Trinidad and Tobago uh, Taekwondo Association, Mr. Anthony Ferguson. So before the break, uh, we were talking in terms of uh, that, uh, having that balance that academics and sport mm. can definitely go hand in hand. And um, before that, you were telling me that, you know, we have some athletes abroad mm -hmm. uh, that are uh, training and preparing yeah. for competitions. So can you just tell us a bit about that in terms of um, do we have locally though um, qualified trainers to um, get our athletes where they should be for these international competitions? Yeah. Actually our national coaches uh, before they become national coaches mm -hmm. they um, are required to do a certificate course. You know? right. We send them to Korea yeah, to train um, you know for a period uh, after which they will get a certificate if successful. If they are not successful, then it does not happen. Yeah? And then in addition to that, we keep trying to send them to, you know, for renewals and so on. And anywhere there are courses, yeah, uh, we would send them even local courses because sometimes, um, you know, under the auspices of the Trinidad and Tobago Olympic Committee, and the Ministry of Sports, they bring in um, well-qualified uh, coaches, uh, people in different areas, to be able to impart knowledge, you know. And we always make it a point to send our coaches to those things. You know? okay, okay. So that's that's the first thing. So it's, uh, the, to answer your question, yes, we do. You know? um, what we lack here is the opportunity to compete on a regular basis. Right. You and know? that's locally? That's locally, you know. Because, you see, we may have, let's say, about two or three competitions a year locally. Mm -hmm. But the comp people who we are going to fight abroad, you know, when we go abroad to competitions, mm -hmm. they have competitions, they have access to competitions every week. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you have to face that. Of course, they don't go every week. They yeah. will choose, you know. But they have that luxury. So we it's don't. Throughout the year, they so have. This is throughout the year, there are competitions. And then, so what has to happen is that we have to send them abroad, you know, to be able to compete, yeah. Otherwise, you know, you cannot say, well, you know, we want to make the Olympics, and then we sit here, and then, you know, two or three times a year, you might have a competition, and then the competition is just local competition. Right. You don't really meet people, mm -hmm. um, okay. you know, in, yeah, yeah. So it has to happen that way. So. You know, a lot of our uh, time is spent on trying to, to, to get the resources to send to people abroad for, for, for these competitions. In addition to competitions, of course, the access to training camps, right. you know, uh, which is important. You know, sometimes we are able through our good offices to be able to send, you know, access, you know, hotel and mm -hmm. meals and all the training, everything, you know. Right. The difficulty would be the ticket. So sometimes right. it's just a question of a ticket, Cost you know. That, right. yeah. And because we don't have that, you know, we would have to forego, you know. So it's very challenging, you know. We don't complain and we are not complaining here, you know. But it's just to give an idea that it is, it is, it, it is, um, it is it, very it, difficult. There's, there's, there's because, stay, as you said, there's flight. Uh, yeah. Of course, there's accommodation. Yes. And, uh, uh, so again, sometimes with camps and so on, we are able to do that, you right. know. But, um, you know, as far as competition, you know, you have to fund your whole way, you know, so, so that's, that's, that's the story. Yeah. Oh, I know you said uh, we, are, we are competing on that international level. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me? I know you said we have a lot happening. Is it this month or next month? This month. This, this month. month, as we speak, we just had one, uh, we just had a team that came back from, um, from, from uh, China. Right. right? Uh, we have one, as we speak, in, uh, in uh, Puebla. In, right. in, in Mexico. And what competition is that? This is the Pan American Sports Festival. You know, um, this one would be under the auspices of the Trinidad and Tobago Olympic Committee. Okay. And then um, <clears throat> we have one leaving on Monday, right. no Tuesday actually, to go to Baku, Azerbaijan. That is a cadet. Yeah. Right. Um, we have, um, we, you know, we have a player now, you know, in, in camp in mm. in uh, in Korea. So. You know, it's, um, and then, you know it's, we, it's, it's, it's a lot, and that's just July I'm talking about. And what is, the, what is the 
I don't want to say pressure, but what is in terms of your, your the team that is putting everything together uh, logistically? What is that preparation like? The preparation, um, you know, one of the things that uh, a lot of sports people lack in this country is passion. <laughs> yes. You know, yes. Um, you, you know, passion for the sport to be able to do what you know what you have to do. We have unfortunately too limited amounts of people in all sports, you know, who yeah. has that passion, mm -hmm. you know. So that's the first thing we look for. Mm -hmm. Second thing we look for, well, you know, then, you know, we want to see proper fundamentals, right. you know, um, you know, that you're kicking properly, you're blocking properly, punching right. properly, whatever, you know, and in all sports, you know, all good coaches will tell you, you know, the fundamentals are the important, yeah. the important thing, you know, so that we look for. Uh, in terms of, um, you know, developing the skills, those things come along right. with the basic fundamentals first, yeah? Okay, you know, you can't be trying to beat and all that, so if you're yeah. playing football, you know, <laughs> and you don't even know how to pass how to properly, pass. Yeah. You know? yeah. So that kind of, you know, so when we say fundamentals, that's what we mean, yeah? So that we try to we develop, you know, we have a strategic plan, develop your coaches, you know, right. you develop your athletes, you know, you have a plan on how to do it, you know, you, you not only do access what is locally, but you bring in coaches from abroad, you know, for short stints right. and so on, you know. And then you send them abroad, you know, you send your athletes abroad, you send your coaches abroad and so on. So it's an overall plan to be able to achieve the objective. And our objective is Olympics. Of course. You know? And uh, Taekwondo, though, if, I am, if, if, if I'm into karate, is it an easy transition? Uh, you see... Um, we, we tell people when they come over that they have to basically empty your cup. Right. You know? So you start Because um, there are certain things that you do in karate that is not allowed in taekwondo. Right. That's you know? So, for example, taekwondo, karate has sweeps. You know, you can sweep someone up. You know, we don't allow that in, in, right. you know, in terms of our... Yeah. So there are, there, 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 there are some nuances. You know, they, they may not seem important, but they are. <laughs> yeah. Right. And uh, if we'd like to contact you guys, or do you have any contact information, uh, websites, email address that we can yes. get more information on Taekwondo? Yes, um, we our headquarters is number one Church Street right. in St. James. Um, contact information, um, best would be 777-2119. At 777-2119? Yeah. yeah. So that, that essentially... And of course there's the web... The, uh, Page. Yeah, our web page is always down, you know, okay. so we, okay. you know, we're having challenges there, so we're trying to, 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 to work on bring that. it back is up. Is there anything yeah. you'd like to tell us, tell the, the, the public in closing? No, I just do that, um, you know, I would like to see more participation across the board in all sports, right. you know, and I would like to see as a base, you know, more, um, more happening in terms of the schools and when I say schools I'm talking about primary and secondary schools right. because it is very helpful as I said before mm -hmm. you know what it does and um, I of course would like to see um, a lot happening more you know in terms of help for let's say national organizations sporting right. bodies and so on from the Olympic Committee come on down come yeah on down. so the national sporting bodies right. yeah, so that is that would be my that yeah. would be my thing, and I think with that, you know, with those things, we would um, we would go a long way as a country. From there. Yes, yeah. of course, of yeah. course. So once you introduce the sports early, youth, you know, uh, I think it would help a lot in terms of you know facing the challenges that these okay. youths will, that are inheriting what we have left behind. For them, they, you know, it would prepare them much better to be able for to solve the difficulties. Yes, Mr. Ferguson, thank you very much for coming on set, and hopefully you can come back again and. Uh, Bring a uh, yes, uh, I'd be very happy the athletes to. with I'd, you. Yeah, I'd be very happy to. Yeah, very <laughs> All happy right, to guys. Me. So it's Let's Talk Sports. We'll be right back after the break. Thank you. Thank you very much.